All right, Dolphins fans, the wait is officially over. Our guy, arguably the best linebacker in Miami Dolphins history, has earned a spot in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Our guy, Zach Thomas, inducted Thursday night into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I should say that the announcement was made Thursday night for Zach Thomas to be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It was his fourth year as a finalist, but he doesn't have to wait any longer. Earns a spot in the 2023 class alongside the following. So adjoining Zach is Joe Thomas, Darrell Rivas, DeMarcus Ware, Ken Riley, Joe Klecko, Chuck Howley, Rondé Barber, and Don Coriel. So man, I mean, there's a lot of guys from a, a few different eras in that one, but that's, I'm happy with that class. I'm going to talk about going and everything a little bit later, but I am happy with that class. Obviously, we got to share the spotlight with Jets and Darrell Rivas, but Man, it's a it's a good class. I'm obviously so happy that uh, that Zach was able to to make it into the Hall of Fame. But before I go into some of his career achievements, I actually, I kind of want to talk about his career and what it kind of means for uh, kind of through my perspective as a Dolphins fan, through my lens as a lifelong Dolphins fan. Because honestly, when he's selected by the Dolphins, 1996, I'm what I'm eight nine years old. So all at that age, you can't truly appreciate the, the greatness and just how good he was right away. 1996, he gets drafted fifth round, and he does what? AFC Defensive Rookie of the Year. I mean, just for him to spot on that. But like I said, I'm, I'm so young at that point in time, and, and that's an important, important time. Like, not just me, but there's a, thousands of Dolphins fans in my situation here where it's those formidable years where you're starting to really love football, you're getting into it, you love the games, but you don't quite appreciate it. But with the longevity of his career and with how good he was for as long as he did it, I mean, those defenses that he played with, the, the Zach Thomas, Jason Taylor, Tebow, Tim Bowens, Patrick Tan, Sam Madison, Brock Marion, those are the guys. Man, those were some fun-ass team. The list goes on on players. But those teams, that's kind of the reason I'm here today. If you think about it, like, those forming years of you becoming a football fan and it's the, the team that you like. And, and honestly, those teams never won the ultimate prize. I mean, you, you pair some of Zach Thomas's years and Jason Taylor's years this, with one of the best quarterbacks of all time, a Hall of Fame quarterback in Dan Marino. So, no, we never got, we never got the, the ultimate goal with those teams. But, man, that was, like I said, that was a great time of Dolphins football. And at the end of the day, only one team – is going to be happy at the end of the season. Only one team's obviously winning the Super Bowl. But I tell you what, there's not many seasons where Zach Thomas was playing and his individual achievements. I'm not considering any of those failures. Those were all some pretty damn good years. I want to bring up um, just some of the accolades that he was able to, to produce while he was a member of the, the Miami Dolphins. And obviously, as you can see, one year with the Dallas Cowboys. On Thursday night, it was Jimmy Johnson that kind of gave him his his announcement, and obviously Jimmy has ties to both teams, but a 13-year career, career, 12 with the Dolphins, over that point in time, accumulated the fifth most tackles in NFL history since they started keeping tackles as a stat. But if you look at Zach Thomas, too, I mean, an undersized guy, we'll, we'll look at there, you, you draft him in the fifth round. He's just a, he's a guy that so many teams passed over so many times. And obviously, they all <laughs> ended up regretting it with, with see what he did, an undersized linebacker. And you look, 17 interceptions isn't huge by any means. But for him, being an undersized guy that wasn't thought out to be this great coverage linebacker, he was the thumper, man. He was that classic middle linebacker that we wanted back in the day. But to have 17 interceptions, to house four of them, more turnovers there with 16 forced fumbles, uh, the, the eight fumble recoveries, a seven-time pro bowler. And look at the all-pro teams. Seven times in total, five times as a first teamer, two times as a second teamer. But like I said, to jump on the scene and become one of the Miami Dolphins' best late round draft picks, I would argue, of all time. A fifth rounder back in 1996 to jump on the scene and become the AFC Defensive Rookie of the Year that year. Obviously, he's already in another Hall of Fame with the College Football Hall of Fame, the member of the 2000s All Decade team. Like I said, Fourth season as a Hall of Fame finalist, but he doesn't have to wait anymore. And it, it kind of seemed like for a while there, you, after the Hall of Fame guys are announced, it's who are the snubs? 
And and lately, the, the player that's been on the top of at least our list as Dolphins fans is Zach Thomas. And to be fair, though, it wasn't just Dolphins fans that, that felt that way. And unfortunately, like I said, it started becoming like a yearly tradition where you'd have NFL players. You'd have players that are currently in the Hall of Fame, or you'd have players that aren't even, they weren't even ever teammates with Zach Thomas. They'd go on radio or TV interviews and the questions would be asked like, who's the guy that's not in the hall that deserves it the most? Well, it felt like nine times out of 10, the answer was Zach Thomas. It was like, hey, committee, let's get this guy in. So luckily for us, that is now behind us. One of our team's greats, one of the Miami Dolphins greats is now finally being recognized as an NFL great. And you know what, Dolphins fans? It's simply time to start clearing those calendars. Because if you're interested in going to the enshrinement, I'm going to be there. I told my wife earlier this week, I kind of got tipped off on on Zach's enshrinement uh, on like Tuesday of this week. I told her, hey, figure out stuff with the kids, figure out stuff with your work. Because guess what? Going to Canton, Ohio for Zach Thomas enshrinement. So the enshrinement is going to be Saturday, August 5th later this year. The Hall of Fame game, if you're interested in something like that, I believe that's going to be Thursday night leading up to that. That would be August 3rd. The Dolphins fans, here we are. The wait is over. We finally get another Miami Dolphins player in the hall. So big congrats to to Zach Thomas. And guess what time it is now? We got to get our boy Richmond Webb in there. It's Richmond's turn, honestly. There's, There's a couple other Dolphins out there that I think are deserving as well, but none greater than, in my opinion, than Richmond Webb. So, hey, let's let's get our campaign going on him, getting him in there as now. But that's it for the Zach Thomas news for today. I've got off-season positional previews scheduled to begin on Monday. So a couple of days from now, I'm going to have five positions that week. The next week, I've got the final five positions, going to be covering all of those in a two-week span. So get subscribed if you are not already. But like I said, huge congrats to Zach Thomas. I hope you're enjoying this one, Dolphins fans. And until next time, Fins 